Welcome to this arena tutorial. We are going to model a seaport. So we're going to do a seaport a seaport simulation. And for this seaport, we have got freighters which arrive. Then they are going to be uh, docked by a sea by a harbor master, and after that they are. Uh, they, are, they are docked. Okay, let's quickly zoom in. So, we said freighters arrive. So that means our entity is the freighter. Freighter. And and uh, they are going to arrive according to uh, exponential distribution, so according to a Poisson process. And we say three freighters arrive per hour. That means every 20 minutes on average a freighter arrives, so 20 minutes. And one and one, one freighter arrives only. Okay, uh, let's make a quick note of that. So. Um, every um, three freighters arrive per hour. Control enter according to a Poisson process. Okay. Um, then the harbor master is going to dock them. So that's the docking process and that means a freighter is going to need one harbor master exactly and once the freighter is docked the harbor master is released so cease delay release and we need to get one harbor master so we're going to call him harbor master and this quantity actually it states clearly that we that the fright that the entity only needs one harbor master so this is not to be confused with that there are available two harbor masters that's that's something else you could adjust that in the resource sheet in the capacity field okay we said the harbor master itself follows a exponential distribution as well so that means the docking process takes 15 minutes on average according to exponential distribution so I'm going to put here expression to specify the exponential distribution in the expression here we've got several distribution and I'm going to select exponential distribution and we said the mean service time is 15 minutes so here we go. Let's quickly document that. Um, so takes fifteen minutes to dock. Control enter one writer. And this is according to an exponential distribution. Okay. Once we are docked, the, we just made a, make a note of writer, writer docked. All right. So that's basically it already and our objective is to figure out what is the utilization of the harbor master and how many freighters are going to stuck up on the ocean and how long do they actually have to wait until they can dock. Good. Let's see whether we can actually run that simulation. 
so we see it runs. Well, now we should actually think about the run configuration, the run setup. So the number of replications, since the random seed usually uh, influences the outcome, so we need it should run 30 uh, replications, but this takes too long, so we'll just take 10 replications. So that means we are going to repeat one simulation run 10 times. Um, we are going to ignore the uh, warm-up period. How long should we run it? That's a very good question. So we have got, we are here in the scale of hours. So we definitely want to go over a long period, usually with simulations. So let's say um, we are going to go for 100 days. And we say this is a small harbor and it only operates 10 hours per day. The base time unit, we've got that in hours right now. Um, that's, that's nice, but we could also have them in, in minutes, which would be reflected in the output in the reports. Okay, the project itself is a seaport simulation. Seaport simulation. User, that's me. And we could have a more detailed project description as well. Let's save that somewhere. Let's say that WG Seaport and save. And let's have a quick run. So we see something is happening, but that takes tools along. Let's fast forward that. So now we see it's fast forwarding down there and we also see how many replications we have already finished. So we have now done 10 replications and the report should pop up. So we are now going to have a quick look at the report. So here we have got our title, Seaport Simulation. And what did we want to figure out again? How much is the Harbor Master actually utilized? We see he is 76% utilized. The theoretical result, as we see, is uh, uh, we can dock actually four freighters per hour, and, and we have an in water arrival of three freighters per hour. That means we would have expected 75%. So, but that's close enough for a simulation. Then the queue length, how long does it actually take to dock? So, the waiting time for one uh, Friday is 48 minutes. Here we see the unit, it's minutes, 48 minutes. Um, how many Fridays are going to stock up? 2.46. So um, that's a pretty good agreement as well with theoretical results. So this concludes the ARENA first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing you to the next one.